beautiful people of the world, it's me, Victory For You. I'm back in a completely different place that you've probably never seen before, but this is the kitchen of my house. And by my house, I mean my parents' house, because I still live with my parents and I love them. But today, um, we're doing something a little bit different. So when this was filmed, it was kind of like a couple of days before New Year's. When you're gonna see this, it's gonna be in the New Year. So I hope you've all had a lovely New Year so far. Basically what I wanted to do is, I'm kind of just doing a bit of a celebration because all of my friends, well not all, some of my friends come around that are free and just wanted to meet up with them and also cook for them. So I kind of wanted to not just cook for them, I just wanted to cook for you guys and hopefully it'd be something that you'd be able to do. It's something new that I'm trying on this channel and hopefully you like it. Um, hopefully it'll be more food things and like healthy food stuff that you guys can get involved with as well. I'll be sure to write the kind of method that I do either down in the description below or I'll put it all on my blog so you guys can follow it as well. I'm not I'm not becoming a food blogger I don't think but I just wanted to like cook for you guys and hopefully you guys really would like it so if you enjoy this video share like subscribe all of that good stuff so because my friends come around I kind of wanted to treat them a bit and also something that we don't usually have like we always have pizza and stuff and it gets a bit not boring like don't get me wrong I love pizza but like it gets a bit much after a while so I decided to do kind of like a Mexican kind of feast for them and um, so Various different things, kind of like a create your own wrap station. So hopefully this is something you can create as well. So um, I'm doing it with chicken, beef, and also doing some vegetables as well for my vegetarian and vegan friends. Um, so I really hope it turns out, well, let's, fingers crossed it turns out well. If it doesn't turn out well, you people are just gonna watch and laugh at me. So I hope it turns out well. But yeah, it's a bit of a Mexican feast. So I really hope you guys enjoy this and enjoy like the step-by-step -step and I'll show you all the things that I had to buy. I'm not doing a grocery haul. This isn't one of those. <laughs> but I really hope you guys, yeah, just enjoy this and it should be really really fun and you'll also get to see my friends as well so yeah woo! let's get cooking so the ingredients are kind of pretty simple for this so we're gonna need flour either plain or self-raising will do um, chicken breast which you know is always useful minced beef um, mushrooms it doesn't really matter what kind of mushrooms as long as you know they're mushrooms um, just general seasoning. I picked up this old El Paso smoky barbecue, not sponsored, but it'd be cool if it was one day. Um, but yeah, I picked that up just because it's a bit milder and then it's a kind of okay for everyone. Pepper, salt, this really cool smoky Tabasco, smoked Tabasco, it's really, really lovely. Um, it's not like spice or anything, it's just really mild and lovely. Um, just some extra barbecue seasoning. Um, tomatoes, I picked up salad tomatoes because they're a bit easier to work with me. Um, onions, different peppers. So I've got like red, yellow, I've also got some orange in the bag. This oil here, it's kind of like my secret weapon. Um, just garlic infused olive oil. Um, some spinach because spinach is really good for you and really healthy. Some tortillas because I love tortillas and also some eggs and that's pretty much the ingredient. So some of my friends have arrived, I will show them all to you a little bit later because um, they're around the corner. But yeah, we're gonna get cooking. We're gonna start off with the mince. So well, I'm gonna start off with the mince. Mum has just like started to prepare the chicken. She just washed them and just cut them into strips because they're gonna be fried a little bit later, which you all will be there for. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna start with the mince. It's kind of like a chili con carne kind of concoction. But we're just gonna go, start, go straight in with that. So first, we're actually just going to start off by chopping up this onion. I'm going to, obviously, as I said earlier, going to use a few onions simply because it just goes with a lot of things and it also is very, you know, it's just a really good flavour to have in like Mexican cookery anyway. Um, and it just makes everything taste a whole lot better as well. Here's the meat all seasoned up. What's it seasoned with, Mum? Um, pepper, all season, and a little bit of the fajita mixed season yeah okay so that's it so that's that's like the base that we're using for the chickens so everything's kind of got like the more mediterranean vibes and um, so everything's tasty huh? <laughs> um yeah everything's got like the mediterranean vibes which is really really cool and yeah it's quite like a nice um it's just nice to eat it's like really homely and it's really really good to share with lovely friends and family it's really like say for example you've got the task of cooking for like a load of people this is like a super good dish um to just cook for like a load of people you can practice all beforehand um which is good i am not a whiz with a knife so like all these people out here don't be don't be judging me i know i know i know i know i'm not the best with a knife however it's going to get some good results. It's going to be like a bit rustic, 
it'll be a bit rustic, but you know, rustic's fine. <laughs> After you've done that, you put in um, this really, really lovely garlic infused oil. It's really, really good if you like. Obviously, don't want obviously big pieces of garlic in your food, so you just put that straight into the pot. But obviously, not a load of it, simply because you obviously we're trying to make this as healthy as possible, and obviously, olive oil is a pretty good healthy oil to be putting in. And literally all we're gonna do is just sweat down the onions and after the onions are sweated down then we should put in the meat as well. I've now been joined in the kitchen by another glamorous assistant, other than my mum, my mum's amazing, but I've been joined by another <laughs> one, and this is my lovely friend Rebecca. Oh, I'm a, oh god. <laughs> 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 there, wait, there, there, there she is. That, that's what she really looks like. She's, yeah. she's not that pale or ghostly. It's fine. It's just the light above no, her. No, I'm not. But yeah, so she's helping me cut Chopped up the peppers. peppers. So, okay. this, this, what, what are you doing? What are you doing with the peppers? Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one's actually already cut. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, how I cut a pepper? I don't know if this is how you do it, Darius. Okay. <clears throat> but I was taught to cut it like this. Okay. Around the core. Oh, you, you, you do what you do. Yeah. I was taught that, that, yeah, you chop the bottom and then you cut around it to avoid all the seeds and yeah. everything. It's always worked for me, guys. I never poisoned anyone. That, so that's, that's good. We were talking earlier it's about all a how. Good start. Yeah, Rebecca, Rebecca has not poisoned anyone, so, which, you know. I've all, never poisoned yeah. anyone. I'm so proud of myself. Which is always good, you know, when you're cooking for people, <laughs> you know, not poisoning them. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm vegetarian as well, yeah. so. Yeah, I mean, like, that's probably why I haven't poisoned anyone, because meat's like... <laughs> meat's, you know... Salmonella. Yeah, sal salmonella and yeah. all of the others. Yeah, yeah, so veg, you can't really go too wrong, so no. I'm going to stay vegetarian for everyone's safety. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's, 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 that's what right. I'd, get, I'd get you, like, on, on the veg. Yeah. yeah. This is, like, a really great dish that you can do with friends, and it's, like, really sociable and really fun. Yeah. Yeah, my favourite. I'm so. a bit deadly for knife. <laughs> <laughs> you like knife? <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's, it's fine. Rebe Rebecca's not going to hurt anyone. I'm really close, aren't I? No, no, no. You're fine. Oh, it's zooming in and out. It's like zooming in and out. I'm not used to it. See, see. Them. see there, there's, there's lovely Rebecca in her zoomed in closeness, lovely yeah. face. Oh, look, it matches. Oh! It's almost like I'm looking at I'm loving the OOTD, by the way. Uh -huh. Oh, thank you. Just thank you. Yeah, they're quite hairy. I have 11 pets and they kind of um, shed on me. Well, it's, it's fine. You actually can't see yeah. it on camera, which is... Yeah. Oh, can you not? No. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, that's a good job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of look like Bear grills, so... Oh, honey. <laughs> Bear Oh well. But yeah, these these lovely peppers they're gonna be um chopped up lo lovingly by Rebecca. Lovingly. Um and then they're probably just gonna be like fried off and sauteed with some onions just to make them like really nice and taste really nice. Flavour. Like, flavour. Lo mm. Loving flavour. Good flavour. Good flavour. But yeah. Thank you very much for chopping up the peppers. And yeah, this this is this is the lovely Rebecca that I spoke about in a few videos back. So yeah. make sure, make sure you go donate. On her go find me go go do Aww, go do go do it. so cute. Oh honey. <laughs> but yeah, go go do it. I'll put the link down in the description below as well. Yeah, smile. Bye bye. So, again, I'm joined by more glamorous assistants, which is great. Um, so I'm joined by, by, by lovely Ethan, who's doing the salad. 
and I'll come back to him in a second. And I'm, I'm joined by lovely Harry, who's here. Hello. Hello. He's currently doing onions, but before he was doing mushrooms. Um, so yeah, so this is kind of like the bit where you can kind of just make it up. Um, so I'm also doing like a um, mushroom and spinach mix-up thing, um, which is which can also go in the fajitas as well. Um, and then obviously salad, because we want something a bit more healthy in there. So, Ethan is lovingly cutting up tomatoes. Look, look, look how good he's doing it. Look. Yes, Ethan, cut that tomato. <laughs> um, and yeah, just just a really nice chopped salad is also really good just to have with anything really. And just, you know, just keep your health up. And where did you put the mushrooms? The mushrooms are there. So the mushrooms, they're just cut in half. Pretty simple, pretty easy. My mum's currently frying the chicken, which was seasoned up with some um, fajita seasoning and obviously goes in the flour and it's just dipped in egg as well. Um, the mince is all done, which is absolutely amazing. And yeah, oh Harry, you're doing a really good job. Thank you. I'm about to cry. Okay, Harry's about to cry. But we will not. We will not document this on camera. <laughs> um, oh. No, we won't, won't do it. It's fine. Thank um, you. But yeah. So I think the really good thing about doing this dish is also you can get loads of people involved. You can like just do it with friends, and it's just a really fun dish to do. So really hope you guys, you know, make sure you go check out the blog everything for this dish will be on there so you can go and check it out and also make sure you do it with friends because it's a lot more fun with friends yes it is <laughs> so the fried chicken is like almost done see it's like frying like that courtesy of mum who did an absolutely amazing job it tastes so so good um, and i'm just going to go in the oven just to finish off cooking and i have done this really cool pack some peppers um, so as you saw earlier, I got Rebecca to chop them all up and Harry to chop up the engines. And I'm just cooking them all together with a bit of the smoky tabasco sauce, a bit of the old El Paso barbecue um, seasoning, and can put a bit of salt and pepper in there. And it should all just like reduce down and just be like really, really tasty and really, really lovely as well. And I think I just put like a little bit of the garlic oil in there as well, just to obviously lubricate at the bottom of the pan so you don't want burning or anything. But yeah, I've really, really enjoyed doing this, especially with my mum. Mum, you've enjoyed it? Yes. Oh, I'm really zoomed in on your face. <laughs> but yeah, it's been like enjoyable. So I've been enjoying enjoyable doing it with my mum, with my friends. It's just been really, really sweet and really cute. So yeah, we're just coming to the end now. We're just finishing up. Just need to do finish off these and then I'm gonna do the spinach and the mushrooms. And then we're pretty much done. The salad's done, the chicken's pretty much almost done, the mince is done, as you saw earlier, just there at the back, so it's done. And yeah, quite ready to tuck into this Mexican feast, which is gonna be amazing. It's gonna be fun. And just like that, it's complete. So there is the spinach and mushrooms together, the peppers, if it goes, if it focuses, there we go, the mince, the chicken, the salad, the tortillas, the condiments for the tortillas and the peppers if they're necessary. So yeah, it's all done. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video and enjoyed meeting some of my friends as well. Um, I hope you have a lovely day. Um, I'm Beach Review and I hope that you'll be victorious every day. God bless. Bye bye.